Elon Musk, a well-known entrepreneur and philanthropist, is working alongside NASA to establish a permanent presence on Mars. One of the reasons rover sent was Perseverance, escorted by a small helicopter called Ingenuity. Stick around to know the discovery made by Elon Musk and NASA that stunned the whole aerospace. NASA's exploration program is rooted in discovering whether there is a possibility of life on planet Mars. Rovers, namely Curiosity and Spirit, unearthed the existence of liquid water on the planet. Bearing that information in mind, NASA spent $2.7 billion on creating a rover that could look for indications of past life on the planet. Its name is Perseverance, which launched on the 30th of July in the year 2020. The rover was able to land on February 18, 2021 in the Jezero Crater. Surely a historical event! Its landing is no ordinary. Navigators, with the aid of navigation cameras and satellites, use images to land it on the desired surface. It must comply with a 7-minute landing course known as the 7 Minutes of Terror. It uses nylon cords, a thruster-powered supersonic parachute that enables the lowering of the rover to the planet. What does it do in the crater? Well, it collects samples such as microbial fossils and carbon-containing molecules, which are elements of the existence of life here on planet Earth. These samples are stored and sealed in tubes and are delivered back to Earth. The purpose? Well, it needs to undergo various science experiments in several laboratories. They are still needed to guide NASA and the European Space Agency's exploration. Are you curious enough to know how the Perseverance looks like? Well, it is comparable to the measurement of a compact car. It has Sherlock, its robotic arm, and a supercam interior, which sits on top of the rover's mass. They contain a laser that can destroy rocks. The supercam mounted also aids to visualize the land in as minute ways as possible. It contains two Raman spectrometers that radiate ultraviolet light on rocks or soils. The reflected light enables experts to ascertain what compounds are in existence. Located in the rover's lower red, Remfax, is a radar that can be found that can identify water particles. At the top, Meta and Moxie. Car-sized battery weather stations enable the processing of carbon dioxide to oxygen. This permits the rocket fuels to exist and the consumption of oxygen of future astronauts, which is where Musk will focus on. It is equipped with 23 cameras that captures around 100,000 images that help us appreciate the terrain. Some of the images can be accessed in the online gallery. Its companion, Ingenuity, in the form of a small helicopter, has no apparent influence on Perseverance mission. However, it assists NASA in knowing how to fly machines on the Red Planet. It has a downward-facing black-and-white navigation camera and two forward-facing 13-megapixel colored cameras. These cameras generate a three-dimensional topography of the Martian map. On the other hand, Perseverance accomplished something more thrilling that alters airspace navigation for life. A milestone for this expedition is the gold car battery size that can convert carbon dioxide to oxygen. With the help of MOXIE, it functions by extracting, compressing, and filtering out carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere. Then, the separation of oxygen and carbon monoxide happens by adding heat. MOXIE in an hour can supply roughly 5.4 grams of 98% pure oxygen. This alone enables humans to inspire and expire for 10 minutes. Experts estimated that when manufactured by 100 volts, it can not only use to bring astronauts to the planet itself, but it can also provide breathable air for future endeavors. Aside from its possibility of producing oxygen, Perseverance has made an additional discovery. It was confirmed that the rover landed on a surface called the Jezero Crater, which was once a lake. About 3.7 billion years ago, pieces of evidence showed that the crater belonged to a stretch of a 120-mile-long river. It is compromised of a triangular-shaped delta where the lake and the rivers meet. In addition, proof of images collected by Rimfax was proven that the red planet has had bodies of water in the past. Thanks to perseverance, it was able to discover more. One of which is the existence of organic molecules through the use of the scanning abilities of romance and luminescence. To be specific, these carbon-containing molecules are uncovered in rocks around the Jezero crater. The carbon molecules originated in the dust form of non-abraded rocks and inside abraded rocks. 
Experts agree that the first amino acids were synthesized in organic rich water and that water is essential to the existence of life on Earth. Thus, if they were to track down signs of life on Mars, they assumably must be close to bodies of water. Well, do you remember the Curiosity rover? Good. Did you know that it provided a picture that looked like a door? It somehow gives an impression that there might be a portal to another dimension or a refuge for Martians out there. Though it gives a science fiction movie vibes, it can also be due to the disintegration of rocks brought about by quakes. As a matter of fact, on the 4th of May, just this year, a massive quake was documented. In addition, the image seemed substantial but in reality, its measurement can be completely different. It is quite great that cameras could capture fascinating geological features of planet Mars such as depressed mountains, ice-filled craters, V-shaped rock formations, and more. But it is crucial not to be swayed by blurry images that could mean something more, like aliens and their infrastructures. There was an unusual cube-shaped object that China's U-22 rover discovered recently in 2021. However, the alien-like structure was merely stone rocks, according to further investigations. Ingenuity's successful history on Mars began as a technology test for rotorcraft operation in a low-pressure atmosphere, very different from that of Earth. Surface air on Mars has an atmosphere that is only 1% as dense as air at sea level on Earth. And also, Mars' atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide based, astonishingly 95% whereas Earth's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen and oxygen-rich. Moreover, the density of Earth's air is 30 times greater than that of Mars. Thus, utilizing ingenuity not only represents a milestone in aerodynamics, but also fundamentally impacts planetary exploration as a whole. Flying around on Mars opens a wide range of possibilities for discovery that can significantly improve our understanding of life. NASA is investigating innovative approaches to challenges in order to advance in low-Earth orbit technologies that big companies are innovating on and the development of human presence on Mars. Elon Musk's idea of a human colony on Mars has served as a major inspiration for this. Thanks to the cameras that Ingenuity has, providing stereoscopic vision, the Martian landscape can now be mapped down to the specific rocks. We were unaware that water disappeared in other parts of the universe until a few years ago. On another planet, we now have a few robots that are looking for signs of life and penetrating the soil to determine whether it has water. This is helpful for several essential, reputable, and scientifically sound reasons. Elon Musk wants to create a settlement on Mars, and we might be closer than we anticipated. To do this, Musk should provide a self-sustaining base for the people, instead of just dumping people off on harsh Mars and letting them survive for themselves. Can you imagine what those bases would look like? What would living there feel like? Fortunately, the US plans to send astronauts to Mars through NASA. In partnership with Musk, they are collaborating to create bases for people on Mars with similar objectives. Elon Musk, though, let his research reach into space while many people restricted their goals on the planet. Even within his adolescence, he had begun to consider the destiny of mankind in the vastness of space as his personal responsibility. Even as a young boy, Musk was considering colonizing the sun planets. He even went to a gathering of the nonprofit Mars Society organization in 2001 that planned to send mice into orbit. However, he thought of putting them on Mars. This then ultimately inspired him to establish SpaceX. Musk predicted to Wired Magazine in 2007 that there will be bases on the Moon and Mars in 30 years. He even spoke about his ambition to turn humanity into a multi-planet species in 2016 at the International Astronautical Congress. But as he grew older, Musk revealed his own motivations for wanting to establish a new settlement on Mars. One issue he constantly talks about is that a life-ending disaster on Earth could end our species. But humanity may continue if we could build new bases on Mars. It is exceedingly questionable how much time is available for life to become multi-planetary considering Earth is roughly 4.5 billion years old. A surprise meteor impact might exterminate humanity in addition to the worst-case scenario of climate change. 
Another justification for continuing to live is having a goal, such as occupying or terraforming another planet. Being a space-faring civilization, according to Musk, is one of the things that will make everyone thrilled about the future instead of being pessimistic of the future. He went on to say that one reason for mankind to grow is because we are the protectors of life. Also, since we are the only species that can make rockets, Musk believes that the human species should expand further into space in order to surpass the record of reaching the moon and there are many who advocate for human habitation of other planets. In 2017, the renowned Stephen Hawking said himself that human beings with the desire to survive within 100 years would migrate somewhere else. In line with this, NASA aspires to know the dawn of our existence by sending astronauts to the Red Planet. This only proves that they do not plan to conquer, but instead expand human existence. NASA and Musk's plans are in line with the transportation that will bring humanity to Mars. This talks about the Starship, found in Texas, which is the biodegradable rocket that will permit SpaceX to dispatch cargo and people to Mars. It can carry around 100 people or 150 tons into orbit at one time. This leads to Musk intending to manufacture fleets of starships to be able to do this at a large scale. This year's first orbital mission of the ship is set to take place. Explorers can fly to Mars, be charged using resources discovered there, and then fly back to Earth thanks to the Falcon 9's use of liquid oxygen and methane as fuel instead of rocket propellant. Even further into space, the astronauts may travel while constructing a network of recharging stations that would connect to several planets. The company's main objective is to fly the spacecraft out of its Texas facility. But Cape Canaveral in Florida is also geared up in case of delays. Do you dream of living on Mars one day? Well, it is undoubtedly not magical to live there as you would live conditionally, such as having to wear spacesuits outside instead of freely on Earth. Well, at least for now, and the reality is, your journey will be harsh. Musk reveals it is going to be difficult. In November of 2018, he differentiated ads for Mars exploration to that from the Antarctic Journey ads of Ernest Shackleton that said, Men wanted for hazardous journey, small wages, bare cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, safe return doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. The overall proposition is the same even though Antarctic never really came to life. Mars, according to Musk, is not danger-free. In December 2021, a dust storm came to life which happened during the HOPE mission organized by the United Arab Emirates. The storm ended on the 14th of January. It sweeps over solar panels which reduce their efficiency by depleting their actual power. This proves that weather situation on Mars are devastating in contrast to Earth. In April 2022, Curiosity rover ended its mission because of razor-sharp rocks that may destroy its wheels. Despite this, Musk and NASA won't terminate volunteer travelers, as it is accessible to ordinary people, not just researchers and scientists. For those who are interested in going to Mars, but couldn't afford to, you may be moved to work there, such as being a miner, physician, cook, and other vital occupations. You would have enough work because Musk predicted there, there would be a long-term labor shortage. Musk gauged about 1 million tons of cargo is needed to establish a self-reliant city on Mars. He plans to build buildings to sustain 1 million people. He approximates that it would value around $10 trillion to do this. Starship is able to send cargo at $100,000 per ton. This implies that Musk requires $100 billion on transportation alone. Where would he be obtaining these funds? Well, Musk has been accumulating money from Tesla alone. He took it on Twitter saying, Helping to pay for this is why I'm accumulating assets on Earth. Paul Wooster, an engineer specializing in Mars development, said that several cities can be established. He describes the plan to expand by building a massive base starting with a village, then a city, ultimately turning into several cities. Terraforming Mars is what Musk intends. The company even has sample visualization of what Mars would look like after it has been terraformed. There are now colors of blue, which is definitely water, and green much like Earth that can be seen from the planet. On average, the surface of Mars is currently negative 63 degrees Celsius 
or negative 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Musk intends to warm up the planet's poles in order to melt carbon dioxide that has been locked in place. Since Mars has an extremely low temperature and the sun isn't enough to warm the planet, we would need to provide what the sun offers. So this would use a succession of constant nuclear bomb explosions. The concept is to utilize carbon dioxide reserves to produce a friendlier environment. Then, with nothing more than a breathing machine, humans could travel the entire planet. So what are your thoughts living in Mars? Please tell us in the comment section down below. If you like our content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified whenever we have a new upload. We will keep you updated on the latest and hot topics on technology here on Futureland. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.